My wife Haley took our daughter Grace and they went down from Newcastle down to King's Cross. They went to see a show. They love to go and see the shows. They love to go and see the theater. And they went to see a show. So I'm at home with Elliot, our, our son. So they're off on the, on the early morning train and Elliot turns to me just after breakfast and he said, Daddy, can we go on a big train? I said, yeah. London's a bit too far just to jump on a train for three and a half hours, then three and a half hours back. I said, but yeah, we, we, we can. So we got onto the local metro system and we got the metro from our house all the way up to Newcastle city centre, the central station. And um, uh, this is Elliot here. This is him outside of the, of the station. And uh, we walked into the ticket office and the uh, lady behind the counter said, um, next big train, please. And she said, sorry? I said, next big train. I said, I, I want about an hour's journey, either north or south. So it's either York or Berwick, okay? She says, oh, in 11 minutes' time, there's a, there's a, a train going to Edinburgh. It's going to stop off at Berwick. Um, you can be on that one. I said, perfect, fantastic. I'll have two tickets, please. She said, how old's your son? I said, he's four. She said, under fives are free. He doesn't need a ticket. Good news. Good news, yes. How many of us in this room today see an opportunity to give a customer some good news, and they give it. How many of us see the opportunity to go further? Because this is where celebrity service lies. She says he, he, he doesn't need a ticket because he's, he's under five. But I think he'd like a ticket. What's his name? I said, Elliot. She took a blank ticket off the side, she took up a pen, and she wrote down three words. She said, there you are, Elliot. His face lit up. I walked outside and I took the following photograph. That ripple of ah. Are your customers saying that when they're leaving your business? There'll be people in this room say, yes, that's a bit of a waste of a card. This isn't the right conference for you. <laughs> There's a hate conference going down the road for your number two, okay? Just go there. What did I do with this? And this is the thing that excites me about social media. This is the excite the, the, that, 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 that goes around the world in, in seconds. I took this photograph. It was the third biggest post in Facebook that year. I also tagged it to Virgin Trains East Coast. They replied and they retweeted it to 2.2 million followers. We had an awful day in Berwick. <laughs> we, we got off and you've got this little four-year-old boy going, it's really cold and it's wet. It was like the height of summer, do you know what I mean? I was like, we were drenched, we got the next train back. But when we got back, when we got back, I went to the end of the station and we, I recorded a video of, of what this lady did. And, uh, and, and Elliot makes a little cameo appearance. So if you ever want to go to my YouTube channel, you can see the video itself and you can see what we did. And again, I got lots of leverage from that. But I'm promoting not me, but the person behind the desk. A lady called Pam Thompson. I didn't get a name tag and I didn't, I didn't know what it was. But when I uploaded it to YouTube, it had that many views and likes and all that type of stuff. Um, this person just said, that's my grandma. How cool is that? Three little words. Personalize everything that you can. See the opportunities every single day with every single customer. Because this form of love will be shared the world over. 